Well, is this little hive going to build themselves a new queen, or are they doomed? Stick around, we'll find out. Welcome back, guys. Uh, I think it's about August 10th today. Pretty decent day, a little breezy. Hopefully the audio recorder doesn't work too bad. Uh, my daytime temperatures right now are in the mid-20s, but it's starting to get chilly at night. It was uh, 7 or 8 here last night, and I think tonight's supposed to be the same. So fall is definitely on its way. Uh, I want to have a peek inside this one. Um, I may have mentioned this one in a previous video. This was actually two nukes. One of them had a virgin queen, the other one had no sign of a queen whatsoever. Um, the one that had no queen had a fairly decent population, so I united them together, which I've done many, many times, no issue there. But it was getting robbed. I actually think I moved it twice, and I think actually I put it inside the building overnight the once, and the next day it was pouring rain. Um, certainly knew that Virgin Queen had to get out and get mated. Didn't really like confining her, but the robbing was a bigger issue. Uh, in the end, it was way at the back, and in the end, actually I'd gone in, in the morning it didn't look too bad, in the afternoon it was getting robbed pretty good. I went in and of course cloud of bees, all the robber bees. I took two or three frames out one at a time and uh, I saw the Virgin Queen and the bees that were adhered to that frame, they were totally quiet, very chill. I think there actually may have still been a little bit of cat brood in there. Um, I kind of moved them aside one at a time and then I realized that those bees belonged there and the other ones didn't. So I took the bees that belong there, I brought them up here, I don't know if that camera sees it or not. I got a pretty small entrance there and I got a robber screen. I left the other hive where it was, I sealed it up so they couldn't get in it, but I left it there. I've learned through experience that if, if you've got a colony that's getting robbed really, really bad and you take it away completely, those robber bees come back and it isn't there, well they immediately go to the, the surrounding hives. And there were two there, one in front, one beside it, they were really strong. The next one over was also a, a nuke that had just recently acquired, you know, got a mated queen, caught her, marked her, she was looking pretty good, put her into 10 frame. Uh, I put a robber screen on that as well, it's still there. I didn't want those bees to migrate to that, so I leave the boxes there, sealed though. And there's still a couple frames of honey in there, lots of bees in there. I went in there just before dark, took the frames out, swept the bees off, and took those frames away, but I leave the box there. I don't need that particular stand, left it there. I came back in this one, actually it'll be a week tomorrow I was in here, no sign of that young queen. So either she got hurt in all that commotion, or me confining her caused a problem, or she's gone out on a mating flight and she didn't make it back. They were fanning like crazy, um, clear Nazanoff gland, tail up in the air, tail, tail end up in the air, fanning like crazy. I couldn't find any sign of a queen. So what do you do? Well, uh, I suppose if you live in a location where you can easily get queens, you could try uniting a queen. I've never done that. Um, getting queens shipped to me here, well, they would have to come from Southern Ontario. And if I was to go and pick them up, it's a seven or eight hour drive one way. So I'm not going to do that. I've never ordered queens. I've always raised my own. Over the years, I've talked to two or three different beekeepers and they tell me if you're going to order queens, order twice as many as you need because half of them show up dead. I have no idea what, what that's all about. I've never done it. Um, in a normal year, actually right where those two cameras are sitting there, where all those stacks of pallets are, normal year I'd probably have 30, 40, maybe 50 nukes sitting here. I could newspaper unite this to, uh, you know, move the nuke into 10 frame equipment, newspaper unite this to it. There was a decent population of bees. Um, I also have, uh, I think I've got four more single boxes that have laying queens. So I could have newspaper united this to one of those, which I still can. I still could do that. In my book, introducing a, a, a queen that was ordered from, or borrowed, or stole, or whatever, there's a risk. Maybe I simply missed the queen, or maybe she was out flying while I was in here. So if you introduce a queen and then she comes back, there's going to be a problem. You may have just wasted your money on a queen or the two of them end up fighting and you lose them both. It's the same problem if I take this and unite it onto another one. Maybe she was in there, that's going to cause a problem and it still might. Um, if what I've done completely fails, I still, 
I probably will because there was a good population of bees. I will probably newspaper unite, but it comes with a risk. So what I chose to do this time around, just because of what I've got going on in the bee yard, I simply went into a colony, I don't even remember, I have it written down in my little book. I went and found a frame of eggs and larvae. Gently shook, sweep, swept 99% of the bees off, there were still a few. I drop it in here. That's pretty safe. If there was a queen running around here and I just simply couldn't see her, or if she happened to be on a flight and she came back five minutes after I walked away, putting that frames of egg and larvae in here, eggs and larvae in here, are going to cause no harm. If they have a queen, they're simply going to raise that frame of eggs and larvae as worker brood. If, on the other hand, they had no queen, then they're going to try and, most certainly, going to try and raise themselves another cell. And that's what I'm doing today. It's been, I think it's been six days. Pretty sure. Um, so that's what I'm going to check up on today. Now, if if I get in here and I'm, I see them not making a cell, I'm going to look pretty close because typically there would have to be a queen. If they've got a cell, I'm just going to very quietly put it back together. I'll leave it alone for another couple weeks. Um, it's going to be a long shot. I don't. I'm certain this one's not going to get a second box. Although I have boxes of honey. I don't think they're going to be able to build a big enough population to survive my winter. This one's going to go upstairs and actually the other four singles, they're probably going to go upstairs as well. Need a hive tool. Now I haven't given them any smoke yet. Um, I did give them a thing of pollen supplement the other day. Got my quiet box here. This is stuck for some reason. I'll get, just put that in the back. Um, yeah, all my notes about a united yeah, both were getting robbed. One had a virgin queen, one didn't. Change locations. A couple chicken scratches there. All right, let's just take this inner cover off very slowly, very quietly. I got a frame stuck. I can I can feel it as I'm lifting it. There's a frame stuck, so I'm just gonna have a peek, and it's right here. Push it down. Just I just put the tool in, push it down. I always take my inner covers off, nice and slow, nice and quiet. So I haven't given them any smoke yet. It's lit. Oh, it's, and it hasn't gone out. <laughs> I'm just going to sit that in the front quietly, try not to bang it. Okay, just check, checked up the close-up camera. They, they are working that pollen supplement a little wee bit. I'm just going to try and quietly. Yeah, they're eating away. I'm just going to sit that on the inner cover as well. All right, I got some bees here at the back. I got about three, three frames of bees, I guess. At the moment they seem, uh, they're all, they're all in the seam having a little peek at me, saying, "What are you doing?" I will give them smoke if they start coming up. Uh, maybe they are getting a little bit without me even knowing it. Um, I try not to use the smoke too much. It is August. Uh, very shortly, I'm probably gonna be wearing a suit. I, I do find in the fall they start getting a little cranky. Um, but at the moment, at the moment they seem pretty chill. That's good. And it's breezy, but it's a decent day. I think it's about 22, 23 degrees. Not really sure. Neighbor cutting the grass. Hopefully that's not getting picked up in the audio recorder. There's those little hornets. You know, I'm, I'm always tempted to try and hit the hornet with the tool and kill him, but um, going to do more harm than good. Then you're then you're getting the honeybees all shook up and upset. So I'm going to cover those to keep the hornets out of there. Not that many bees over there. That last frame and this well, this one here, this frame here has some. I don't think the camera will see it, but uh, nectar, not a lot. Um, yeah, there is this this whole upper section here is all shiny. I don't remember. It's probably I think it's that black plastic frame that I dropped in there. So here's where you start looking, and you know. 
their temperaments completely different. Um, I got the audio recorder right there in my pocket. Nobody's fanning. Nobody's butts up in the air. Um, so giving them that frame of eggs and larvae made them happy or they've got a queen. I'm looking for eggs. Depending on depending on the type of inspection I'm doing, um, sometimes I'll be looking for the queen first, eggs later. Uh, if I suspect they have no queen, well, I'm pretty certain they're going to be looking for eggs first. But I'm not seeing any. Yeah, another one of those hornets. The season seems to be here anyway. Um, maybe a month ahead. Uh, the weather's been kind of bizarre up here. Alright, this will be the frame. They're either going to have a cell on here. And they do. Right where my thumb is. I'm trying to see that camera. There's two, there two cells right there. Oh, and there's another one. Let me get, I'm gonna, I just gently blow on them to get the bees out of the way. And there's one right there in the, in the center. Oh, and they got another cup up there, and there's a larvae in that one. I can see that, even with my crappy eyesight. Let's see what they did on the other side. There's another one. Again, I'm just gonna blow on the bees very, oh, there's a couple here. Let me just blow on the bees real gentle. Oh, I see three. <laughs> okay, I see four. <laughs> Oh frig, there's two right there. There's one there. Another one there. Alright, they clearly had no queen. So now I'm putting this back in. I didn't, when I put that frame in the other day, I left quite a bit of gap there. Well, I'm obviously leaving quite a bit of gap again. Just put this back together, leaving space on either side of that frame. Uh, it meant it was a little tight here at the back. I'll deal with it. Now, not a huge population of bees. I'm sure there's some of you screaming at your computer screen right now. Um, are they going to build a top-notch, high-quality queen? I certainly doubt it. Um, is it going to be good enough for me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that fussy. Um, if, if she can get a couple frames of brood in before the weather finally shuts right down, um, it's a little snug. I'm going to have to move that head just a, a little bit more. Um, I still may end up uniting this with something. Um, this is a little tight and I don't want to... We got it there. Close that up a bit. Yeah, are they going to make a great queen? Probably not. That's a hornet. See if I can get that one. Gotcha, you little bugger. Um, satisfying. Let's get this closed before we get too many more in here. Um, so, I got bees right there. I've said this in other videos. I just lay the pollen sub on top of them and then I, I lift it up and I set it down three or four times and typically by the time I'm done, they're out of the way. I've got some bees here. I'm not concerned about these ones here in the center at all. I've watched the ones like that one there, um, but that's okay. You just put this down. I use my fingers as guides so that I don't drop this suddenly and then I just kind of move it back and forth and set it down and move it back. I do occasionally still squish the odd one, but not too bad. So I've got my book on my little tool cart there. I'll write down what I saw. Uh, I think right now, yeah, I got blue pins telling me that there's a cell, or I knew there should be a cell, and the yellow pin just means keep a close eye on it. <clears throat> but I will write all that down in my little book. So I'll likely leave it now two more weeks. That's yeah, going to get me third week of August. It is a long shot, guys. But. I'll have to make a decision then. I'm not going to try and make it now. If if she ends up laying up a couple frames of brood, putting it upstairs could potentially work. I'll reevaluate. I've got, like I said, I've got four others. 
Um, I used to do it in the past because my season's so short. I would try and create as many nukes as I could, checking on them fairly regularly and keeping pretty decent records. Um, I would evaluate them. My wife hated this, but I would, I would kill half the queens and I'd unite them together with the better queens. Uh, I only did that for a couple of years and then my sweetheart, she didn't approve of that at all. And you know what, in the end I just said, let the chips fall where the chips fall. If, if the queen doesn't look to be 100%, Leave her alone, give her a chance. Um, pretty certain that's exactly what I'm going to do here. But I, I'm 99% sure this one's going upstairs. I'm going to go look through these other ones here in this week or so. I got boxes with honey. I can certainly put food on top of them. Um, yeah, making this crap up as I go, guys. Just, just see what you got going on in the hive. Make a decision and go with it. That's it. Um, I don't think there's any, much else I can do here today. So appreciate your time, guys. You be good to your bees, and I'm sure it'll be good to you. You guys take care. We'll talk to you soon. Ciao.